Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Corpus Christi, Texas with a brand new frauditor by the name of American Press Corps. Only been active for two weeks. In fact, this is only his fourth video. And I had to cut his video down some because it was about an hour long. But anyway, he audits the local post office and whines and cries about his civil rights being violated. Oh, boo hoo hoo. Why don't you go look up the definition, you moron? So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, American Press Corps here. We are back at it once again. We are here at the Corpus Christi Post Office right here on Crestmont Drive. Uh, we are going to see if they honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible places. Five hours later. Very old and very retro. Hello ma'am, did you have a good experience in there today? Hey, you're on camera. Please do not film the customers, please. Ma'am, what, what's wrong? What happened? Do not film the customers. I already called the police. You need to be What's there. wrong? What? You have people walking away. You're scaring the people. Mary, I, I miss... Tony. Okay. I accidentally call called her Mary. That's my wife's name. How funny. Of course, most of the footage I had to delete was came from about 20 minutes of him arguing with the postmaster. Now the postmaster has called the police. And so let's just wait around and see what happens with the police. Hey, sir. Everything went good today? Yes, sir. All right. Okay, this lady's really freaking out. Ma'am, please calm down. It's just sir, a camera. Please, please, sir. It's just a camera, ma'am. Yes, I did. I did. And I call you right away just to inform you the information. Yeah. Thank you. What happened? No. I already called the police as I'm now leave the customer alone, please. Can I go inside? No, sir. Not even in a bike. Not in a bike. Yes, ma'am. I would like to purchase some. Okay, but no ca cameras. Where does it say that? I was wondering when you were going to ask that. It's time to bring out that old Poster 7 meme on my channel involving Ass Elmo. Ass Elmo, take it away. Photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums when used for public meetings, except we're prohibited, okay? It's not pro prohibited here. There are a number of things you glossed over in that you didn't even complete the whole damn paragraph and what you did read, you glossed over. The most important part that you did read but totally ignored was the part when used for public meetings. And there are no public meetings going on right there. So you don't have the authorization to do that without the installation head, which covers the last half of the paragraph you did not read. I will read the last part of the paragraph for you then. Prohibited by official signs or security force personnel or other authorized personnel or a federal court order or rule, other photographs may be taken only with the permission of the local postmaster or installation head. It doesn't, but we do not allow cameras here filming. We have... Um... So it doesn't say no cameras? So am I going to argue with you? Because you can't? How am I going to argue with you? Because you're unable to? Can you tell me where it says no cameras, please? Sir, do not film the clerks. We have, you have I know you're writing. telling me, but can you show me where it says there not to? There is nothing to. in writing, sir, but do not film the clerks. So but of course, there's also that recent memo that came from the post office. It just still does not allow for filming, but employees have been uh, advised not to engage with the frauditors. 
that the postmaster and installation head are the ones that have to deal with it and the local authorities. But unfortunately, some of the local authorities are not aware of what Poster 7 actually says. So you're going to see a lot more of this kind of thing. So, so I have, there's nothing in writing. So is that legal so or illegal? Walk away. Oh, cam back. Way to go, man. Flexing your First Amendment rights. That's what you should do. Exactly. She's calling. Hello, ma'am. How did it go in there today? Good. Good. All right. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> yeah, we like to keep our public officials accountable. She's not in any danger, ma'am. It's just a, it's just a camera. Yes, ma'am. It's just a camera. Ma'am, can you show me where it says there's no video recording? Yeah. Man, it is very cramped in here. Very small, very small quarters. A young lady walked away. She doesn't want to be on camera. Please walk away with the camera. Ma'am, if somebody doesn't want to be on camera, they're supposed to walk away. Who? Please walk away with the camera. From what I've seen so far, we've also violated another part of Poster 7 about the disruptions section. So, you really need to leave because you are impeding the regular duties of the Postmaster by being there. You're getting her away, and not to mention, you're filming the transactions of the people in there at that moment which is also a violation of post office regulations, you buffoon. Yeah, I got you. Ma'am, if you can't show me in writing where it says I can't film, then how do you know I can't? Ma'am, can you please show me in writing? No, we don't have nothing in writing, sir. So whose fault is that? need to walk away, sir. Everyone. I'm sorry, ma'am. It's my right to film. Sir, you do not have a right to film. You're ridiculous. No, don't touch my camera. That is assault. Can you please call that is assault. Okay, you yes. That call, is assault. Call the police you assaulted me, ma'am. Please, ma'am. You assaulted me, you, and you okay, touched. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, excuse me. You assaulted me. Ma'am, excuse me. No, but do not go into my office. No. I'm I'm not going in. I'm not going in. I'm calling the cops. Why are you filming? Ma'am, I have every right to film. Why are you filming? I have every right to keep Why our pup. Why are you filming? Are you, gonna are you an idiot? Will you let me answer? Are you an idiot? Ma'am, you are exactly right. He is an idiot. He thinks you assaulted him, and when all you did was touch his camera. That's not assault. Ma'am, you're the only one who put hands on me. So who's the idiot? Go ahead. Miss Sir, please, I'm please. Walk away and... Ma'am, you're on camera everywhere you go, ma'am. You shouldn't put your hands on people, ma'am. Did you just say I assaulted a customer? Ma'am, that is a false police report. That is a false claim. I have it on video. Why? Ma'am, do you realize that if you sir, lie and say I assaulted a customer, you, you're only escalating she, and lying to the police, and that puts me in danger. When you lie she to the police and say that I she assaulted a customer, a customer, that puts me in danger. Do you realize that? Ma'am, that was highly inappropriate. Yes, yes, the, that was uh, highly uh, inappropriate sure. for you to and say I assaulted sure. someone. What is your name, ma'am? I don't want to get I don't. A frauditor. Your local McDonald's might be hiring. You may want to think about getting a better job than what you've got right now. It'd be a lot safer, and you wouldn't get arrested as often. I, I, no, I don't want to. So. Ma'am, what is your name? I would like to file an official complaint, please. She said that they're in the area, so they're coming. I'll do it. Yeah. At the what? At the Thank payment you. devices on here. Which one? These you're, devices? Yeah, you're not allowed to yeah, film I'm not allowed to film that? Sir, do not film the credit cards. So please, we'll machine. 
I no, can't film the is. credit card no, machine? No, sir. No, sir. You need to walk away, sir. Why? I'm standing back here out of the way. You're not buying no stamps. You need to walk away, sir. Ma'am, how do you know I'm not buying any stamps? Sir, just walk away. How do you know? You're uh, disturbing the customer's ass or not. Ma'am, that customer put her hands on me. She doesn't want to be filmed. What, what Why did she put her hands on me? Sir, I'm not going to argue with you. Man, you say that every time you can't argue because you don't know what to say. Where does it say I cannot film in here? Please tell me. If you can show me where it says that. Show me. Show me. Show me where it's. I already read it. And guess what? It says I can. It says I can. Like hell it does. You're just another quote mining frauditor. You're just cherry picking what you want to see. Fifteen minutes later. I don't see a single wet tear, but... On, hey, sir, how you doing? Pretty good. Do you have anything on your person or anything? Weapons, knives? I don't have any weapons. Do you mind if I pat you down? I do mind, yes, okay. sir. All Please, right. I, I do not consent to any searches or okay. seizures. Right, that's no problem. Just do me a favor. Don't reach in your pockets or anything. Do anything. Uh, likewise. Okay. Likewise. You want to step out and talk? Or? Uh, n do I have to? Uh, I don't know. I just want to see what you're up to. I mean, you're not... As far as I'm concerned right now, you're not doing anything wrong. I'm sorry. Can you tell her that? You cannot What's going? be in here with the camera filming the customers. He grabbed the lady, what the lady talking, oh. I don't know, I want to be filmed. I mean, filmed. Sir. the employees asked you to leave, because there is this criminal trespass warning on the building. Okay, so let me explain to you how this trespassing thing works, okay? You cannot trespass me if I have not broken the law. <laughs> you serious? And the reason for that is, is remember, there a ex why you're here, excuse though? me, sir, do you remember the segregation days, the Jim Crow laws and things of that nature? Is there a reason why you're here, though? Yes, sir. I want to explain this to you, please. Before you ask me a question, just let me get this out. During segregation, they would say whites only and coloreds only. Do you remember that in history? No, I'm not too familiar with that. In, in history. Are you seriously going that route? That is one of the most insanely stupid and idiotic arguments that you can come up with as far as that goes. Civil rights has nothing to do with trespassing in this case. You are a total moron. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay, okay. So, in other words, our civil liberties and our rights give us the right to be in public places and film our public officials in the course of their duties. Very much a case of ill-informed Dunning-Kruger moronic ideology here. He has no idea what he is talking about. He has no idea what civil rights are, which are equal protection under the law, despite your race, creed, color, religion, whatever. It has nothing to do with this situation, you bloody moron. Okay, now, if I haven't broken the law, then you cannot trespass me off of a premises in a public building like this because it could be considered racist. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god, we have got the ultimate triggered crybaby snowflake. Oh, cry me a damn river of tears, you bloody moron. That is not racism, you moron. Or let's just say you don't like the color of my shirt. No Nobody with a green shirt. Right Nobody with a green shirt is allowed in the post office today. That's discrimination. You see what I'm saying? So unless I break the law, then I can be trespassed. But if I have not broken the law, sir, then there, there is no why, trespass why that is you, warranted. Can I ask you something? Even if they say, I want you to leave. What about if they're saying, I want you to leave, sir, because you're Hispanic? You see what I'm saying? I haven't broken the law, therefore, I don't have to leave. Now, I do plan on conducting business and purchasing stamp. Okay? okay? So, before I do that, I have every right to film and I also would like to report an assault. Who assaulted you? This woman right here. She put her hands on me, okay? She put her hands on me, and that is documented video, okay? okay. Do you mind if I see the video then? No, I don't mind. Uh, Can you show me that, that she assaulted you then? Well, sure. Okay. I, yeah. I just, I'm trying to see what's really happening, okay? Yeah, sure, I, I could show you. 
Okay. Yeah. Do you mind showing me right now? Uh, I do. I'll show you here in a minute, or I could send it to your email or whatever you'd like. Frauditor, that has got to be some of the dumbest arguments I have ever heard, and I've been on the internet since 1994, and you have taken the cake. If you're going to report an assault, I need that for evidence, right? Okay, sure, yeah. Yeah, that makes more sense, actually. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely show you guys if you wanted to see that. Okay, so do you want to go ahead and step outside and then talk to me about it? Hey, sir, how you doing? Moments later. Were you assaulted? That, 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 that woman right there put her hands on me. Ma'am, do you want to deny that on camera? Well, come talk to me. Sir? Come talk to me. Yeah. What, what did she do? She uh, grabbed my camera and pushed my hands out of the way. Okay. Did she hurt you or anything? Yes, sir. She hurt you? Yes, sir. Okay. So you want to press charge? Physically, emotionally, all that. Okay. All right. Uh, you want to press charges against her? Negative. Wait a minute. You just told them she assaulted you, and now you don't want to do the frauditor thing and follow through with pressing charges? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. What can we do to help? I didn't call you, sir. I didn't call you. But I would like for you to tell her to, number one, don't put her hands on people, okay? Number two, I have the right to film in a public place. And if I haven't broken the law, then I cannot be trespassed from a public building. I do have business here. I do plan on doing conducting business. However, I have the right to film my business dealings with public officials that the tax dollars pay for. What say you? Okay. Well, that sounds right the way you explained it. Um, were, you, were you videotaping in there where, like, uh, you were videotaping any of the transactions? Sir, that is irrelevant. No, okay. Because, uh, that could be a crime. It could be a crime. Mm -hmm. Could you please state the crime? Yes, if you're videotaping where they're doing the transaction and, like, you get credit card information or banking information or something like that. Okay, so that's a privacy issue, correct? Right? A privacy issue? Now, who does the onus fall on to keep those things private? The problem here lies... With you, frauditor, these people have tried to create a sense of privacy with the rules and regulations, and you went in there and violated them. That is on you, not the post office. In fact, you tried to go in an unauthorized room earlier, so the rules and regulations and sense of decency are not your priority. Who's responsible for making sure things are out of sight from public view? So, I, I'm, I'm not quite following what you're saying. Okay, let me just say this. You said that I am not allowed to film the transactions. Right, if you're collecting information, banking information... Collecting I'm not collecting any banking information. I'm but merely... I'm, I'm only recording our public officials in the course of their duties. That's it. Now, they have... The onus of privacy is on them. They are the ones that is, are supposed to create the privacy to keep it out of public view. If someone standing in a public area can see private information... That is strictly the fault of the administration. Do you see what I'm saying? The well, onus of somebody is the onus of privacy. That, that is violation. I'm sorry. What? If somebody is collecting the information, that's the violation. Okay, so you're saying if someone is collecting, if you're doing information, collecting information. Okay, but videotaping. Videotaping, like the the credit card numbers, the banking information. Okay, but sir, kind of if I'm standing, if I'm standing in the corner back there. Okay, how could I possibly see anything of those well, nature? What well, what banking assume, numbers? You can well, assume the credit card, uh, sir. Well, I can what? Oh, they're saying he just walked in, started filming and stuff like that, and then the lady was saying that he was harassing them. Uh, customer. Excuse me, it, I'm the one who was assaulted, and out of the kindness of my heart, I'm choosing not to press charges. Oh, wow, you're choosing not to press charges. How generous of you. Or is it because you wouldn't have anything on her at all because she did not actually touch you 
But let's skip ahead to the end because you got a long way to go. I would like to buy my stamp now. All right, man, go ahead and buy your stamp and then take off, okay? What happened? What did he say? Look, just stop. Don't the get wise, man. sir. I'm asking you, rookie cop, little young man. I'm asking you, sir. What did he say? Did I have a I'm right not to tell film? You what he said. Do I have the right to you film? You know your rights, right? Do you know my purchase, rights? Go ahead and purchase. Do the, you uh, know my rights, sir? Okay, I'm I'm done here, man. You're done. You're finished, sir. I'm done. You're finished. You're not just done, sir, but you're finished. Sir, this is an education for you, sir. You need to know that the First Amendment is protected. How is this a walk of shame when he has told you to buy your damn stamp and leave? That means you are not welcome, so you take the walk of shame. It's that simple. You wanted to speak to our supervisor, is that right? Only if it's necessary. You want to talk to him? Or? Well, this man threatened to trespass me from a, a public place without breaking the law. Sir, do you still stand by that? You're causing a disturbance. Excuse me, sir. I never caused the disturbance. I was polite and friendly to everyone you here. Put your camera in front of a female's face and then she swiped it off of you. I it, mean, who wouldn't do that? Sir, sir, please understand that I have every right to hold my camera like this. And when she walked up to and me... And you're saying downgrading thanks to me. You think I'm going to show you respect for that, man? Respect goes two ways. Sir, you lost my respect whenever you tried to trespass me from a public place. And I told you what, to read Poster 7. What are you even doing here, though? You're not even purchasing anything, man. You're just trying to flaunt your shit, dude. Excuse me, sir. Please don't cuss at me. That's very unprofessional. Get the camera out of my face, man. Sir, it's not in your face, and you need de-escalation training, and you need to get your emotions under control, sir. Yeah, you, yeah. see how he told you to leave? Because he knows you're a young boy, and your emotions are not in check yet, sir. Frauditor, how many times are you going to let your mouth run like this before you end up back with your back on the pavement, looking up in the sky, and wondering, how did I get down here, and why are these handcuffs on my wrists you need to harness your emotions sir and understand that you are law enforcement and not feelings enforcement now get out of here and kick rocks get out of here get out of here you're uneducated sir you need to learn the law you need to learn the law i'm gonna buy my stamp and I would appreciate if I'm not harassed anymore. Sir, please, you don't get that close. Really? It's a public place, huh? It's a public place. You know what, I really think? I think she's calling her. Do you look right there? Because there's a woman calling you. I don't answer questions. I don't answer questions. Hello, ma'am. I think he's abandoning you, ma'am. He's abandoning you. He doesn't want to help you anymore. See that? What a jackass. Now that cop never did leave. In the last 10 minutes of the video, he stood there and watched him as he pur purchased the stamp. There were a few more little arguments here and there, but that really is, that's really what it boils down to. He left, and nothing more happened, but what a freaking jackass. And a total uneducated moron.